more clap. Yeah, one more clap, loud clap. There we go. That's just a, a sync the sound. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Let's see if I can do this. Alright, this week we're doing uh, something different for Two Minute Tuesday. This will be the take two. Uh, we've done this twice, or we're gonna do it twice. <laughs> gonna hang out and talk about bikes. Okay. Alright, so this is like the uh, second day of pronouncing your name, so I'm gonna do it. Yeah, I'll try. Ba it's uh, Bergut. Bergut, yeah. yeah. Yeah, pretty close. Um, so tell us how to pronounce that and why. Yeah, so my name is, you spell it like burger, like hamburger, but you switch the E and the U, so, and then you have to roll the R's, and then it just comes naturally. But there you go. Oh. Crazy. Wow. I can't believe That's this. That's a lot of rain. I gotta turn this off. Yeah. All right, so this is now take three, two minute Tuesday. It wasn't a two minute Tuesday yesterday, but here we are. <laughs> We're gonna talk bikes. We're gonna talk gravel bikes. All right, let's start off. Who do you work for? So I work for uh, Leif, Leif Cycling. There we go. Uh, most people probably say Lauf. Yeah, the American pronunciation <laughs> is a little brutal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm here to talk about our latest creation, the Lauf True Grit gravel bike. Uh, it's actually much more than a gravel bike. Some people actually say it's a road bike, and some say it's a mountain bike. We say it's both. It's fairly fast on road, super fun on single tracks, but it's just a, a gravel race machine as well. And Let's look at some details. Details, all right. So some of the details are, we have short chain stays, long top tube, slack head angle. So all this translates into uh, just a fun and nimble bike makes it more stable, the long wheelbase, and the slack hand angle makes it even more stable. It almost feels like a, like a hardtail mountain bike on the single tracks. Okay. So, and it's fairly low geometry, so the bottom bracket is kind of low, so you, you sit low on the bike, puts you in more aerodynamic position. This is good on the long gravel stretches. And we have plenty of tire clearance. So those tires are 40 millimeters. We stock them at 40 millimeters, but uh, you can they clear up to 45 millimeters in 700C. Uh, still plenty of space for the elements for all the mats. And up front we have space for up to 47. No, sorry, 47 millimeter tires. Okay. Yeah. And in the frame we have threaded bottom brackets, something that all mechanics love. Uh, and. The internal routing is super, super easy. We have a carbon fiber tunnel going all the way from the entrance for the cables all the way to the exit. You can actually just throw the cables in with one hand and it just pops out at the other. Nice. Yeah. Super nice. Yeah, that's what's not the, the biggest. So yesterday when we were interrupted by uh, technical failures, you were talking about how the, uh, the construction of the bike is different than um, at least in terms of the way that you guys do your carbon is different than the way a lot of others? Yeah, a lot of others. So we only use like the, the highest level of all the uh, like top level production methods. Like the front triangle is all made out of, it's a monocoque front triangle, one piece. So all this area here is one piece. Okay. Uh, and instead of using a plastic platter inside the mold when you're molding it, uh, normally, you leave this plastic bag inside, and that adds weight to the, to the frame. Okay. But we use a uh, 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 special made uh, silicone platter, and you can actually remove that out of the frame after molding. And it also leaves smoother surface on the inside. It makes for a, a stronger, stronger structure and, and lighter, of course, since you can use less fibers. Okay. And the frame is still mountain, ISO mountain bike tested, so you can just take pretty much whatever you throw at it. So the other thing, let's talk about that fork. Yeah. So the fork, that's actually how, the, how all, everything started. We designed this fork, or the concept, this came up uh, back in 2011 and been on the market since 2014. And we always thought of this fork like, uh, basically always been a like gravel fork. But back then when we designed the fork, there was no big gravel scene as it is now. So we did it for 29ers mostly, so hardtail mountain bikes. Okay. 
and it has this pros and cons on, on mountain bikes. Obviously, it's, it's better than commercial suspension on the smoother stuff like gravel rolls and, and buff single track. But as soon as you come to like too rocky and sketchy stuff, you just want to ride a full suspension. Okay. But then, when the gravel picked up, we responded swiftly with a gravel fork, and the reception we've been getting is just phenomenal. It's pretty much no downside on the gravel side. Yeah, I've been enjoying riding it. Yeah, yeah. And it definitely pushes the what the bike can do. At oh, least yeah. for a drop bar road bike. It oh yeah, totally. Changes the way that you uh, approach riding. Yeah, yeah. Uh, man, there's something else we were forgetting. Yeah, probably. Oh, let's talk about. Uh, other than the fork, the other thing that everybody talks about. Yeah. Oh yeah, the, the bottle opener. Yeah, why that? Yeah, the story behind that. So basically, we we like one by ride fence, but we still wanna. Yeah, if you want two by, you can go for e tap. We actually don't have cable routing for for front trailer, but we have the mounts. So if you take it one by, then you get a bottle opener with it. So this is essential after a good ride. That's too. a plus. Yeah. I think uh, the other thing we covered uh, yesterday was uh, who is uh, who's riding for you guys right now. Who's uh, who can we look yeah. for on like Instagram and stuff? To yeah, see? probably the, the biggest name we have right now is uh, I guess it's Ryder Hesital. Yep. Yeah, he's riding a lot and posting pictures on Instagram, so you can check him out. Nice. And then from this area here, from DC, we have Timothy Rock. Timmy Rock! Super fast guy. And then we have some more names like Neil Shirley and uh, Yuri Hauswald is riding our fork. Okay. And yeah. Is uh, um, Michael Van Ham actually riding for you guys or is he just Oh riding? yeah, and him. Yeah, I forgot him. Okay. Yeah, he just, he, he like... just got his bike like two weeks ago and, yep. and, and played second in his first race. Yeah. And he's doing 30 Kansa. Yes, he is. As well as uh, we are four guys from the office doing 30 Kansa. Yeah, you guys are going. A lot of strong guys. All right, let's sign off. All this right. is the third time, man. I don't think <laughs> I can do this anymore. <laughs> good. All right, thanks All right. for uh, hanging out with us today. Um, you're going to go, you're going back to uh, Iceland for a week and then you're going to be doing 30 Kansa. I am, uh, and one thing we've got. What we forget? You can get these bikes here in, in Bicycle right. Pro Shop in DC. Of all the things, I just <laughs> suck. And then, yeah, if you live somewhere else in the States, you can just check out our webpage and look for your closest dealer. Okay. Awesome. All right. Thank you. Thank you.